I want to give you some vital information about brushing and flossing your teeth. To do this, I'm going to read a short passage from the work of Dr. Joseph Phillips, who passed away several years ago. His legacy on how to look after your teeth and gums is invaluable and was almost lost to the world. I have here one of the few remaining copies of his document, Acquiring and Maintaining Oral Health Through the Blotting Procedure. At the end of this clip are before and after images from the document that are worth seeing. The next three and a half minutes could save your gums, your teeth, and potentially your health. Dr. Phillips wrote, The blotting technique is a method of mouth care that actually removes plaque. Plaque is the sticky white substance that forms on teeth, between them, and in the area between the teeth and gums, called the sulcus. Quite simply, plaque is the cause of dental disease. Regular brushing just moves this plaque around the mouth and under the gums, whereas the blotting technique is a proven dental hygiene method that actually removes it from the mouth. This is the key to total oral health for a lifetime. The blotting technique is based on capillary action. That is the principle at work when a sponge soaks up liquid or when paint is drawn up into the bristles of a brush. Capillary action lifts and holds plaque in the brush so that it can be removed. Of course, no matter how well you've cleaned the teeth, your mouth still remains 90% dirty, as teeth only occupy 10% of the surface of the mouth. So it's just as important to clean the gums, the cheeks, the roof, floor of the mouth, and the tongue as well. And you can learn how to eliminate bad breath without mouthwash. The blotting technique achieves all of this and more. If your dentist says, you have to brush more because you have plaque on your teeth. And the next time you see him, he says, you have to brush still more and floss more because your gums are bleeding. And he suggests that you see the hygienist more often for cleaning your teeth. You'll soon be a candidate for deep curatage and gum surgery. Curatage is the removal of dead inner tissue from the gum pocket. Frequent brushing and flossing Cleaning by the hygienist and gum surgery never cured periodontal disease. As time goes on, this leads to more curatage and surgery, and eventually extraction of the teeth. The truth of the matter is that brushing and flossing can cause periodontal disease. Cleaning under the gums daily will keep the disease from getting started, and in most cases will heal the gums. By using a special bristled brush with much the same texture as a paintbrush, it can draw plaque from underneath the gum and heal gum disease in over 98% of cases. This will also keep the gum disease from recurring. Dr. Phillips told his patients, if you want to see what brushing does, just lay a rug on a dirty kitchen floor and brush or sweep around and onto the rug. And when you lift the rug up, you'll see that most of the dirt is packed at the edge of the rug. The same thing happens when you brush your teeth. The sulcus, that groove between the gum and the tooth, is always the dirtiest after brushing. You should not brush your teeth unless you can clean the sulcus out afterwards. And by the way, brushing is only for cosmetics. As dentistry has insisted that people brush more, periodontal disease has attacked much younger people with gingivitis, bleeding gums. This is the precursor to periodontal disease, or pyrrhea. If you use the blotting brush to clean under the gums and the entire mouth, you'll have a healthy mouth and a pleasant breath for a lifetime.